In this video, I will show you another example of Thevenin equivalent circuit. In this video, I will assume you know how to deal with series parallel circuit. You know how to apply super mesh, mesh analysis, nodal analysis, super node analysis, super position theorem, Kirchhoff's voltage law, Kirchhoff's current law. Find the power absorbed by the 10 ohm resistor using Thevenin equivalent circuit. See, this is our given network. This is the 10 ohm resistor as we have to calculate the power absorbed by this 10 ohm resistor using Thevenin equivalent circuit. That means this 10 ohm resistor will be our load resistor RL which is connected between A and B terminals. So at first step of drawing Thevenin equivalent circuit, we will remove this load resistor RL from the network. Let's say I removed this load resistor RL from the network and keep that load resistor RL here. Now see we have this linear bilateral network. We can convert this circuit into a Thevenin equivalent circuit. If I convert this circuit into a Thevenin equivalent circuit, our circuit will look like this. RTH will be in series with VTH. After drawing Thevenin equivalent circuit, that entire circuit will be a series circuit. We will know the value of current that is flowing through the load resistor RL. And by using the power formula PL equal to I square RL, we will calculate the power absorbed by the load resistor of 10 ohm. So at first, we have to calculate RTH with respect to those two terminals. While calculating RTH, we will replace the voltage source with short circuit and the current source with open circuit. Therefore, our circuit will look like this circuit. Now see, with respect to this A and B terminals, this 5 ohm and this 15 ohm resistances are connected in series and their equivalent series resistance will be in parallel with this 1 ohm resistor. So RTH will be equal to 1 ohm in parallel with the equivalent series resistance of 5 and 15 ohm. This will be equal to 1 into 20 over 20 plus 1 which will be equal to 0 0.952 ohm so in the circuit rth will be equal to 0 0.952 ohm after that we will calculate the voltage vth within a and b terminals see this is A terminal and this is B terminal and VTH is the voltage between this A to B terminals. You can use mesh analysis or nodal analysis or superposition theorem to calculate VTH as we will calculate voltage and the nodal analysis gives the voltage directly. Therefore, in this circuit, I will use nodal analysis to calculate VTH. So this is our node A. Let's say this node has voltage V1, which is equal to VTH. This is our B terminal. And this B is the ground terminal. And this is our node 2. This node has a voltage of V2. Now I will apply KCL at node 1. All the currents are unknown, so all of them will be outgoing from the node. V1 minus 2 over 1 plus V1 minus V2 over 5 equal to 0. From which I can write I will take the LCM 5 V1 minus 10 plus V1 
minus v2 equal to 0 which will be equal to 6 v1 minus v2 equal to 10 now look at the node 2 this 5 amp this 4 ampere current is entering and all the currents are unknown so they will be outgoing from the node so if i apply kcl at node 2 i will get outgoing currents will be v2 minus v1 over 5 plus v2 over 15 equal to 4 if i take lcm i will get 15 3v2 minus 3v1 plus v2 equal to 4 this will be equal to minus 3v1 plus 4v2 equal to 60 let's say this is our equation number 2 now if i solve equation 1 and 2 i will get v1 is equal to which is vth which will be equal to 4.76 volt and v2 will be equal to 18.57 volt so here vth is equal to 4.76 volt as vth is positive so its positive terminal will be in upward direction and negative terminal will be in downward direction 4.76 volt see this will be our thevenin equivalent circuit or thevenin circuit and in the circuit we will get current flow let's say i as this is a series circuit the current i will be same all over the circuit i will be equal to 4.76 divided by 0 0.952 plus 10 which is equal to 0 0.43 ampere therefore the power across the load resistor rl pl will be equal to i square rl here i is equal to 0 0.43 ampere into 10 this will be equal to 1.89 watt so power across or power absorbed by the load resistor of 10 ohm from that circuit will be 1.89 watt that's it